And now it's time for a couple of things that are on my mind, and this is week 82 of me doing this as a full-time occupation. And on Monday of last week, I was flown out to Silicon Valley in California for an event at HP about printing. On full disclosure, they did cover the cost of the flight and hotel. It was just one night, so I came in uh, Monday evening. I stayed Tuesday, and I was out on the red eye Tuesday night back to Connecticut. So you can imagine how I felt on Wednesday. I don't sleep very well on planes. I'm not afraid of flying, but I don't like having strangers walking around me all the time on the plane, so I just can't uh, seem to get a good night's sleep on the aircraft. But I went out there for a printing event, and I'll be talking more about some of the printers that I saw there in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that. As I mentioned a little a few weeks ago, printers are actually one of the most watched videos I have here on the channel, not by subscribers, but by people searching. Uh, so we'll talk about some of those new products in the coming days. But the uh, cool thing at HP headquarters is that they preserved the offices of Mr. Hewlett and Mr. Packard, and together they became Hewlett Packard or HP. I'm wondering how they figured out the order of the names. Perhaps the alphabetical order worked the best for them. And what's neat is that they built this really modern visitor center around where the two principals had their offices. So everything else is modern and fresh, and then their offices look uh, pretty much untouched from what they were looking like in the uh, 50s and 60s. And you can see what uh, one of those offices there looked like. Uh, what was neat is that they had adjoining offices here and they had the door open between the two so they could shout at each other uh, throughout the course of the day. Uh, so that was, I think, Mr. Packard's office there. And uh, in Mr. Hewlett's office, they had a uh, little exhibit where apparently he had a penny on his desk and he was rummaging through his pockets and noticed that the penny was never taken off of his desk. And his secretary told him that uh, people were in such awe of him that they would never dare take the penny from his desk. So uh, he then encouraged visitors to drop off money on the desk there, and they've been doing that ever since. And I guess every couple of months they collect all the money and donate it to a local charity there. Uh, this is the conference room, which I think looks really cool. Nice retro look to it. Uh, and then we saw some other stuff that I can talk about. So this was the page-wide technology uh, that we did that video on a few months ago. This is their commercial printer, and this is an inkjet printer that is printing out this banner. It's just coming out very, very quickly. It looks like they were printing on uh, a vinyl surface there. And the way this page-wide stuff works is that instead of having a print head that goes back and forth, uh, page-wide just prints on the paper as it's flowing through. And you can print really big things like this on these commercial printers. Uh, the ink came off on his hand because it was a vinyl thing, but they also did some prints on paper and the ink was drying uh, pretty much immediately there. Um, there was also a little demo of what those print heads look like. Uh, these things are used, by the way, for printing uh, products, like you see those bottles on the table to his right there, uh, all those Coca-Cola bottles with the names printed on them. Uh, well, a lot of that packaging is made by HP printers using this page-wide technology, so it's given uh, branding people some really neat things to work on. And while I was there, I had some extra time, as little as it was, uh, to make some calls on some of our friends. So I stopped over at the Plex headquarters, which is uh, not too far away from where HP is located, and they uh, are working out of an old bank branch, and they've got a pretty cool office, as you can see here. I got there after hours, but this is what the inside of Plex headquarters looks like. Uh, they've got a bunch of people that work for them in California, but they also have people all over the world working for them, too. So it's a pretty spread out company, as like most of these uh, startups are these days. And they had a testing center on the second floor with a bunch of different configurations. Every time they're pushing out a new build, they have to test it on all this different stuff. They had a whole wall full of NAS devices, and then they took the old bank safe and turned it into a home theater room with these enormous subwoofers and stuff, too. So they uh, really do uh, a lot of testing in-house there. Uh, which is probably why you see so many updates on Plex. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv s.